And we now have on the line Energy Secretary Jericho Petilia. We'll, take, we'll talk to him about his plans, about his department. Secretary Petilia, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, uh, Jing, and good morning to all our listeners. Uh, first of all, Secretary, how does the energy situation look in the country in general? Yeah, you know, uh, you, know, you know, a lot of people have been asking me about mm -hmm. the plans and everything, but uh, I guess what, what is not clear at this point is actually this is my first day to assume as the Secretary of Energy. Yes. I just took out last Sunday and okay. then turned over everything in the province yesterday, mm -hmm. and today will be my first day. And the first order of the day really is uh, to assess the situation okay. uh, of the energy sector before before anything. But, you know, the, the more pressing issue really is uh, what, what comes up every now and then in table discussion is for example, Mindanao, when will the rotating brownout end? Mm -hmm. and that, is, that is one thing, uh, because I've asked the staff right now, even before I set foot in uh, the uh, DOE office, which I haven't, by the way. This is going to be my first day. Mm -hmm. But even before that, uh, I've been trying to get information on the organization, on the funding of the, of the office, of the attached agencies, I have to cover all these things because they're all intertwined in mm -hmm. terms of, of looking for solutions to problems. And part of the things that, that I really want to uh, focus on is pressing, pressing issues. What are the pressing issues mm -hmm. that, are, that are being, uh, uh, that have been hounding uh, the consumers? And that's what, uh, that's what keeps on coming up, you know, the Mindanao uh, rotating brownout. There are some solutions, long-term and short-term, but I'd rather really sit down and talk with all the staff uh, of DOE and get the statistics and validate them whether they're right before we actually do any uh, drastic action. Uh, going into, going into uh, discussions about being Secretary of uh, Energy, uh, Secretary, uh, I'm sure there were discussions with the President on uh, directions that should be taken. Uh, what were, were there discussions of the sort? Um, I had um, <clears throat> I had discussions with uh, uh, Secretary Almendras mm -hmm. rather than uh, with the president. The okay. president uh, the president talked to me about the uh, position, okay. but the details of the position was actually discussed with Secretary Almendras. Okay, what uh, were the discussions like? Uh, the discussion was basically how to stabilize uh, the uh, uh, power supply in the country mm -hmm. and uh, projecting the growth rate of the country in mm -hmm. terms of demand right. and how it's going to be met. The, the bottom line with, when it comes to energy is uh, what you do now, if you have a problem right now with energy, doesn't mean that uh, you tweak uh, a little bit of something, then tomorrow or next week we can resolve the problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Energy is a long-term problem and the solutions are also long-term. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if we have uh, problems with power right now or anything that we do right now, we'll most likely affect the power situation in the next administration. That's why it's long term in right. a sense. That's why when we talk about uh, energy, when I discuss this with uh, Secretary Rene Almendras uh, a few months back, we're really looking at uh, uh, power uh, stabilization, supply mm -hmm. uh, stabilization in the long term and in the short term. On the surface, Secretary, uh, do what should we, we be looking at? Should we be looking at generation or distribution? Uh, we should be looking at a balance of generation, transmission, mm -hmm. and distribution. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, um, uh, there's what we call the weakest link is uh, always what we look at now. You can have uh, uh, a good distributing uh, unit, uh, private sector for that matter. You can have a power generation, but if Transco does not have enough lines to link the two, then you have a problem. You can have a big line, but you don't have enough supply, you have a problem. You have a good transmission uh, line, you have uh, good power generators, but then again, we have a faltering cooperative, then you have a problem. The, uh, I think the bottom line here is um, a good balance between the three mm -hmm. to bring the optimal electricity in terms of power and supply to the consumers. That's what we're looking at. And where are we at this point, Secretary? Is there a good balance? 
Um, as I said, uh, I will not uh, attempt to be a guru on energy okay. on my first day. All right. Okay. <laughs> but uh, Understood. in my own personal opinion, yes. there are strides being made. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm simply um, taking off from where uh, the former Secretary of Energy uh, left it, and I think he, he had a good foundation already. All mm -hmm. I'm doing is basically uh, take off from where he left and uh, improve if we can. So in your discussions with uh, Secretary Almendras, most of the discussions centered around Mindanao, is that correct? Uh, not necessarily. Okay. okay, We were discussing about the, uh, the uh, sources of power, mm -hmm. whether we should go... Uh, natural gas, uh, how we can expand, uh, how, how we can uh, expand the geothermal, okay, mm -hmm. what are the problems when it comes to power generation, because it's not only centered towards uh, power generation per se. Mm -hmm. You have the uh, environmentalist, of course, when you go coal, when you go to other uh, sources of power which can be detrimental to the environment, we have to take that into account, all of them. Okay, Secretary, thanks for your time this morning. Thanks for joining us.